Hello Commanders. It's Gameplay Horizon here and welcome back again to my mini episode about Eternal Evolution. Before the Zyda event ends, I exchange my data chips for two pieces of Zyda heroes. These two are enough to evolve my Zyda into an immortal hero. Many of you are requesting for SSS Heroes reviews. And to be honest that is a very hard request. Since it is quite difficult to acquire SSS Heroes and Gacha. To make a full review of a hero, it needs to be at least an immortal level or evolution upgrade to open all its active and passive skills. Now, Zyda is my second SSS immortal hero. She is the first SSS defender in this game. Many of the top players are not satisfied with Zyda. Well, I will prove them wrong. I will be doing a full Zyda review after the game update. In this video, I will just equip her with whatever available resources or equipment that is not in use. By the way commanders, in the next video episodes of Eternal Evolution, I will be giving away some gift cards for each of the 5 lucky subscribers. So stay tuned. Now let's test our premature Zyda. I called her premature because we just equipped Zyda with just some random equipment available on my inventory. I will be using dual support, dual defender, and one damage dealer team. This is my first time to use Zyda in the game. And I don't know what will be the outcome or the results while be. So let's just see how Zyda reacts with the enemy in the arena. Looks like Zyda has a stun skill. And she is not good in a team with dual defenders, and I think the enemy should not be scattered around. I think Zyda should be at the center of attraction. Anyway, I will do some tests on Zyda after the update and make a full review of her. Guys, don't forget, I will be giving away some gift cards to 5 random subscribers in the next videos. Until here for now and see you in the next episode of Eternal Evolution.